Okay, next up, race 18. From Pudge's Town, surprisingly enough, it's the Mick of the Tent. Novice handicap chase over two mile five furlongs. And number one, consequence... And consequence of stars, Joshua Sutherland, Una David Robertson, Brer Rabbit, Martin Leadham, nevertheless, Carl Arianti, Sea Devil, Graham Clutterbuck, Lau, Queen Darren Howes, Warren Stu Gray, and James Gray for Derek Hinton. The start has already got them underway. They're tongue tied to start with. They're into the first, and everybody's over it, although there's a few sticky jumps there for these novices. And we're being led by Carl Arianti's nevertheless, although the jockey's taking a fairly strong hold. So it's nevertheless that's going to lead us from the remainder. You've got Yuma against the fence, the great. And the outside of that is Warren. They get to the second. Everybody's over that. Nice fast jump by James Gray in the pink silks. I'm just losing sight of Brer Rabbit and Loud Queen at the moment as they swing around this right turn. And it's still nevertheless by about seven to Una in second, Consequence of Stars is there and James Great, they get to the third, again some sticky jumps, the worst of those was Sea Devil for Graham Clutterbuck, and just at the rear now is Loud Queen on his own, but just by length or so, so there's just seven of them here, or eight is it, no there's eight, I fancy only seven will finish, <laughs> and we've got over two, two miles to go as they go into the fourth, everybody skips over that one a little bit better than before, and it's still nevertheless by about seven, well, no, five, should we say, to Una in second. And he's got about a full length advantage of the remainder, which is Sea Devil, Consequence of Stars, Warren, Brer Rabbit, and James Gray. And they're already three to four lengths ahead of Loud Queen. So we go past the winning post with a circuit left to go. And then I'll swing out right now, out towards the country. And it's nevertheless that still leads us. Over the fifth, oh, and a poor jump by the second place. Una there went through the top of it cracked his kneecaps but he's managed to settle back down again now and maintain second position so it's nevertheless into the ditch the six everybody's over that slow jump at the rear by warren but carl arrogantes nevertheless leads by about five to una in second on the outside of that is now consequence of stars running on well is brer rabbit and sea devil and then we've got james gray warren and loud queen with a mile and a half left to travel Further seven fences to jump. It's all gone a little bit sticky as we went around that bend there. And it's nevertheless, but just uh, into the seventh, but having his lead challenge now by Una. Just by a length uh, ahead from Consequence of Stars and Sea Devil. And then Brer Rabbit, James Gray and the Pink Simps against the fence. And now Queen's moved up into second to last and demoted Warren into the final position at the rear. So it's nevertheless. And lead them down this back straight now. On their way home. It's nevertheless into the eighth. Everybody gets over it well, other than James Gray, who pecked on landing and has demoted himself into last place. So it's nevertheless by two to Sea Devil, Consequence of Stars. The grey unit in between horses. Wider is Brer Rabbit and Loud Queen. And they're being followed by it through by Warren and James Gray with a mile left to travel. They get to the ninth. Everybody's over that as well. Slow jump at the rear by James Gray. Starting to get himself a little bit detached, as is Warren. But it's nevertheless still leads by two to Sea Devil now. Not against the fences, Consequence of Stars in between horses is Una. Get to the tenth, another big ditch, and they're all over that. Two out wide, a Brer Rabbit and a Loud Queen as they swing at the top bend. And we've got Warren a length or so back, and then a couple back to James Gray. So we're inside six furlongs now. It's nevertheless been pushed along a little bit. One trying to make up some ground now is Sea Devil. Still against the fences, Consequence of Stars. Oh, and the leader went through the top of the 11th there and has allowed Sea Devil to take it up. But he's not given up, nevertheless. He's been pushed along to maintain his lead and takes it back up again from Sea Devil and Loud Queen. Consequence of Stars is four, and then we've got Brer Rabbit, Una and Warren together, and out wide is James Gray. They're all over the twelfth. There's only two left. That was three from home. It's nevertheless from Consequence of Stars. Una was uh, running well there, but the jockey decided to take him over towards the fence, and it's still nevertheless. It's still leading from Loud Queen on the outside. Consequence of Stars and Sea Devil need to run on from here. We go through the thirteenth. Loud Queen was poor over it, and the two that have come straight out of the pack are Consequence of the Stars and Sea Devil. So it's 
Johnson's of the Stars that leads by a length now from Nevertheless, Loud Queen, Sea Devil, Unitron to run on the outside, Brer Rabbit, Warren coming along well was into the 14th, the last, they're all over it, a couple of sticky jumps, the worst was Sea Devil, but it's Consequence of the Stars inside the final furlong, leads by about four from Loud Queen and Nevertheless, they're not going to catch this horse, Consequence of the Stars are going to take this, another win for Joshua Sutherland, just piling them up this uh, this week, so Consequence of the Stars takes it from fast finishing Brer Rabbit in second, I think Nevertheless was third, we'll wait for the card to come up. So, Consequence of the Stars of Joshua Sutherland takes the Mick the Tent Novice Handicap Chase from Brer Rabbit in second for Martin Needham. Third was Nevertheless for Carl Aragante. Fourth was Loud Queen for Darren Howes. And fifth was James Gave.